Hey, hope you are all doing great. Thank you for being here and supporting me. Today, I wanted to talk about art school and why I hated going there. I guess I will start this by quoting one of the paragraphs from the book I have recently read called A Little Life. So here it goes. But when they were older and Julia went to university, Dennis went to art school to learn how to draw. For the first week, he said they were allowed to draw whatever they wanted, and it was always Dennis's sketches that the professor selected to, to pin up on the wall to for praise and critique. But then they were made to learn how to draw, to redraw in essence. Week two, they only drew ellipses, wide ellipses, fat ellipses, skinny ellipses. Week three, they drew circles, three-dimensional circles, two-dimensional circles, then it was a flower, then a vase, then a hand, then a head, then a body. And with each week of proper training, Dennis got worse and worse. By the time the time had ended, his pictures were never displayed on the wall. He had grown too self-conscious to draw. When he saw a dog now, its long fur whisking the ground beneath it, he saw not a dog, but a circle on a box. And when he tried to draw it, he worried about the proportion, not about recording its dogginess. I know, I know. It was a long paragraph, but it really sums up my feelings about art school. I started going to art school when I was around 11. In total, I went to art school for six years. And while the first year or two was sort of fun, the rest I despised. I understand that artists need to know art fundamentals. It is a crucial part in being an artist. But learning those fundamentals for six years was like being in a prison. I lost passion for art in those six years. I wasn't allowed to draw what I wanted, how I wanted. Everything had to be followed by rules. Proportions had to be right, colours had to match the colours displayed. I remember in the first year my graphics class was fun, we did a lot of ink drawings and a lot of it was from imagination. Then the class turned all about drawing circles, flowers, sculpture heads and eyes. Soon I grew too scared to draw, feeling that whatever I draw simply wouldn't be good enough. You know, I never understood why we weren't allowed to paint in a particular art style. Up until last year of art school, we had to follow rules. Only in my final year, I felt I could breathe a little bit more as we had to create our final pieces for the entire year. Well, with a side of the normal, boring classes. And you know what? After six years, I didn't want to do anything with art. Art no longer was fun for me. It was just a set of rules that I had to follow, otherwise my art was crap. In school, I chose dance class in instead of art. That one thing that once upon a time brought me joy and freedom made me feel like I was in prison. I always thought that I would do something with art in my future. But at that time, I was so lost in what I wanted to be, what path I wanted to take after school, that I felt I wasn't good enough at anything. I wanted freedom, exploration, trying different art styles. We were told to think outside of the box, but how was I supposed to think outside of the box when I was trapped inside of it without ever seeing the opportunities that outside of that box can give? That was until I was made, yes, made to go to study illustration. At that time, I hated my parents for making me do more art. I didn't want to do anything with it anymore, but now I am so glad that they did. When I started my degree, I was told to forget the rules. I was allowed to imitate other artists. I was allowed to explore different topics, styles. My tutors didn't want a perfect painting. They wanted me to convey a message, portray my feelings. They didn't care if my dog was disproportional. I was finally allowed to create. It felt like a breath of fresh air. My love for art blossomed once again. We explored art styles, did rubber stamps, book binding, editorial illustration and so on. I was shown what the world outside of that box was like. However, I was so much into that perfection mindset that breaking from that was extremely difficult. It was so difficult to just be free. I look at my work from my first year and it makes me cringe. That fear, uncertainty is so apparent in the early work. Only in my third year have I really let go of the rules I was taught for six years. And honestly, I was so happy not to ever be made to draw any sculpture head ever again. 
Yes, we did live drawing, but that was fun. We had to draw buildings, but my tutor didn't want perfect buildings. He wanted me not to be scared to just draw what I see and how my hand sees it. The more I practiced this free drawing, the better my building started to look. That freedom, in a way, made me learn more than the rules ever did. I mean, there are rules everywhere, but the rules that I have learned at university were the fun ones. I did not once think that I was being trapped again. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am sure there are plenty of those that love that kind of teaching art school gave, but I felt like I was slowly being broken. I didn't know how to use my imagination anymore and that made me struggle at university. My mind was just completely blank. And you know the fun part of it all? That I have only included a couple of my creations from art school to my applications to uni. The rest? Well, I created it at home, creating what I wanted, so even six years of art school work wasn't good enough to include into my portfolio. Because my course didn't want to see how well I can draw a circle or a vase, or how accurate my sculpture is. They wanted to see what's inside of my head and how I can portray that onto a piece of paper. And the best part of uni is that now when I look at the dog, I notice the interesting facial features that could be exaggerated. When I look at the leaves, I notice patterns that could be transferred onto a piece of paper. When I look at people, I notice their faces, their clothes, the way they move, and I take some of that and bring it to my art. I notice the movement of the wind by how the flowers move. I notice the beautiful colors of nature. I've learned how to draw like a child again. My mind is finally free from that prison. Um, let me know what you think, and if you do have experience yourself with art school, whether they're good or bad, I would love to hear from you, so leave any any stories in the comment section, and I would love, love to read them. Other than that, I will see you next week with my new video, and I hope you're going to have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe if you do enjoy the content that I create. Thank you guys, and see you next week.